Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and I don't know about you, but there is nothing like the winter sun. It, it always does feel different than the summer sun, and it makes me think of a uh, sun dance. Now, we did the sun dance at the beach here, not at sun dance as in Park City, Utah. Oh yeah, but news still continues. And Sundance is coming, winding down to close. Grammys, yes, we're starting to get full strength Grammy week. Now, I'm gonna bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said that, um, you know, like they're, they're being ordered out of New York State. The Democrats are going to sweep every Republican state in the nation with all of the illegal aid. I know the uninvited guests. Because the Justice Department is no longer going to, as this morning, they're no longer going to prosecute Republican uh, complaints about a misconduct in elections because they said it's nothing but trying to clog the, jury, the system. Even though they caught two Democrats red-handed signing up people saying, well, the Justice Department said it's all right. No, yeah. you, you have to be a resident of the state to vote. You can't, you know, <laughs> that's the way it works, folks. And horse slaughter blocked by federal law. Uh, I know. The uh, Obama people, the PETA side, got them to stop the... What happens is they thin the herds every year and sell the excess to the to the horse factories for um, a lot of... Okay, some of the better glue you use are made from horses hoofs. But they don't take the they don't take the young and healthy. They take the old and get rid of them. But the, but the Obama administration put it into it because... Uh, Right now, you can't tell the other, well, you can't hunt dolphins anymore, you can't hunt wells anymore, and then we're, we're killing um, horses. Mm -hmm. And Iran's, oh yeah, that is true. Huh? That's right. And Iran's military nuclear bid will be stopped, Israel. Uh-huh, and that's made Obama very unhappy this morning, because they said that uh, most of the people, other than build a rally, think it's really stupid. You know, the, the, his Senate Intelligence Committee now, his Democrats in the Senate are, are passing legislation to put the, the sanctions that he's removed right back in place on him because they said, you know, how long, here's a good, how long does it take to go from 5% to 20% enrichment? Mm -hmm. Overnight. That's all it takes. They, so they reduced their things down to 5% and overnight they can put them back up to 20% after they've got it. They said what it works is two of the countries are no longer going to go for sanctions. So you've already lost two of them, which means those can never be put back on. And um, they blame it on Obama. And delicate path for gay marriage in red states. It's not going to happen. It's doing okay. What uh, Utah is going to once again pass legislation banning it, saying that federal courts have no constitutional right to tell them that their constitution prohibits something that's not written in the federal constitution. And Ecuador's Korea rebukes intrusions by America's court. Yeah, well, that's never going to happen. And two arrested you stolen cards from Target Breach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it's always going to be a bad news day, folks. It's well. And Beijing was so polluted this week, the only way to see the sky was on LED billboard. They yeah. actually could see the LED billboard. You could see the LED billboard because it was like the size of the house. But don't worry, the people on the left blame the pollution in China on the United States. We, we went there and polluted their country. That they say that we're responsible and we have to make reparations to the Chinese people and to Asia for what we've done. We're not responsible no, for it. No, it's got, because they didn't have their regulations well, in place. I think they bring 50 coal, coal, um, coal, coal burning power plants online every month in China. Because what? They've got, well, they've got like a, a, a bi two billion people they have to get power for, and they have coal. But it's, and and they have coal that's... and don't have oil. So. Um, and former Virginia Governor Bob McDonald, wife indicted. Yeah, because they said the Democrats are out to get him because he was running for the Senate, open Senate seat in the state. Yeah. What? Yeah, so his wife was, they, they, I mean, that's the serious stuff. The, basically, the Democrats now are trying to take out anybody that has a uh, All they do is, like they said, the, if they remove the Governor Christie from New York, a lieutenant governor is a Republican, and she has the same viewpoints as Christie, so then they have to remove her. Oh, guess who the Speaker of the House is in, in mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a Republican. Mm -hmm. So when they, they have to, how do you keep coming up charges against every Republican? It looks, they said that Christie is toast because the Republicans, the, the mainstream Republicans never liked him because they knew he was just a Republican in name only. 
and New Jersey mayor ratchets up allegations against Christie. You can't prove any of it, but it doesn't make any difference because uh, Monday, this, uh, um, the Democrats who had the majority in the Senate decided without the permission of the House, which they don't control, to combine the House and Senate uh, investigations into one unit, therefore giving them eight votes to the Republicans, four, in the final outcome, which means he's going to be thrown out of office. That's a real gimme. And suspected drunk driver doesn't notice the cyclist he hit stuck in his windshield. That means the bike was stuck in the windshield what? with the cyclist on it, and he never knew it happened. I mean, it was lucky he didn't kill the guy. What happened was the bike absorbed most of the blow. Yeah, but he didn't notice the cyclist that was stuck in his windshield? Well, we'll put it this. I was on... Um, Apparently he was drunk. A, several years ago, I was in an intersection, and an uninvited guest decided to drive her car through the intersection with the, with the bicycle thing going through the intersection. And she just took everybody out and then uh, they had a bicycle that was on her hood because the bike stuck on it and she, they said she drove like for about another 20 miles before she realized that, that, uh, that she broke the law. <laughs> yeah, they, they were chasing her in cars and everything and finally they, they said it took a fire engine to pull in front of her to stop the car. Because I mean, she was just going to drive all the way back to, to wherever she was going to in the car. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, she didn't have. She wasn't supposed to be here. Was driving illegally, and then and she hit a whole bunch of stop. people. Yeah. yeah. Afghan president again demands U.S. airstrikes end. They're going to have to end. The whole world is condemning the president of the United States and his. Uh, well, actually, this morning they announced that in order to save the lives of American soldiers, they're going to go to an automated. Um, they're going to go to an automated military force. They're going to tanks are going to be remote controlled, airplanes remote controlled. So there'll be no longer any need for carriers because everything will be done by remote control. And Afghan president again demands that U.S. airstrikes end. You no, know, she likes it. She oh, well. twice. Okay. Well, the Republican Party to vote for repeal of U.S. anti-tax dodging law. Oh well, yeah, because um, of what what happened was Obama got a thing passed through when he had the majority that basically uh, if, if you took your business out of the country, they could make you pay taxes on the money you were making out of the country back to the United States. What? It's been in a court for years. The court will never let it stand, but mm -hmm. Republicans are going to do They want the Democrats in the Senate to once again refuse to do something that the public is demanding they do. And Egypt vote muddles political outlook. Well, because they got the... The people that threw out the Egyptian uh, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood won the majority of the vote, but because the, there are so many uh, orthodox uh, Muslims in the country, they can't get a complete majority, so they're going to, what it will say, well, well, the majority of these people supported it, the whole country didn't. Well, they didn't support Morrissey either. Mm -hmm. And U.S. lawmakers raise safety concerns about the Olympics. It's going to be a bloody disaster. They're now this morning. Well, these are nothing but rumors that that the Americans have put out about the safety and social because they know that uh, that they're sending gay athletes over to participate against non-gays and they have no choice, no chance of ever winning. And Obamacare and Latinos, why a crucial constituency is wary of signing up. Uh, because they have to tell people where they live. And they uh -huh. have no intentions of coming out from under their... They, they know, don't like to give their addresses. I know because then they got, they know what happens is, is that the Republicans are likely to take control in the next election. When they do, they're going to start forcing the federal government to obey the law, which means there's going to be... Okay, I'm going to try to explain things. My mommy was an Indian. My wife was Japanese, folks. And we both can tell you that you don't say the Americans can't do something. We were on reservation. She and her family was in an internment camp. So we know that Americans will do it if they get pushed enough. Mm -hmm. And a crumbling Sochi hides behind Olympic facades. They're wondering why in the world they put that thing there because Sochi who was. Who decided to put it? it no, but the, it was a bad spot. That they figured, well, we're going to pump hundreds of billions of millions of billions of dollars in and make a resort out of it. No, they basically the stuff went to the Olympic Village and the and the and this part that they need to make the Olympics, but the city itself is still crumbling. It made nothing, and then they're stuck. Okay, remember how bad 
the uh, the Chinese Olympics were and the British where they had all these extra tickets because China right. was polluted and because Great and people Britain people didn't want to go there. People didn't want to go to Britain because you're talking for miles around. It was an armed military camp. Right. This is this is Sochi. Um, Animonti bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, the memory is always the first thing to go.